to another Mindweave Magic video. In this video, I'll be discussing the seven schools of the Mindweave Magic system. When a character levels up and wishes to learn magic, he puts a point into one of these seven schools, which determines what type of components he can learn that level. It also determines what sorts of bonuses he will receive when casting spells in the future. Pure magic, considered by some mages to be a higher form of magic, uses all three types of components, the words, the arms, and the fingers and provides the most powerful spells. However, three other schools are much more common and are known as common magic. Battle magic, which uses only the words and the arcs of the arcane circle, allows someone to cast a spell while holding a weapon and is common among warrior mages. Swift magic, which uses only words and fingers, can be cast much more quickly than any other type of magic because it does not use the slow, cumbersome arcs of the arcane circle. The spells are weaker but they can be cast in a single turn. And stealth magic uses only the fingers and the arcs of the arcane circle in order to cast spells that are silent and can be used without detection. And finally, there are three schools of primitive magic. These schools do not provide any bonuses to spell casting, but by studying these schools, the caster can become more adept at each of the types of magic of component and can cast more cheaply. There are arcane magic, which uses only the arcane circle and makes the arcs of the arcane circle cheaper. Elemental magic, which uses only the fingers, the elemental fingers, and which allows the fingers to be free, certain fingers. And manipulation magic, which uses words to manipulate the elements that exist in the environment, which makes certain syllables free by taking more levels. It also matters which of these schools you are casting a spell within. A master of pure magic casting a swift spell will not get as much bonus as if he were casting a pure spell. And similarly, a caster of swift magic casting a stealth spell will not be able to obtain as big a bonus as if he were casting a swift spell. <clears throat> when building characters, it is important to keep in mind what sort of caster the character is going to be in order to specialize in that school of magic. And when casting, to remember what sorts of bonuses you will receive for each type of school. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.